Hello. Today I will show you how to code um, Retro Studio if you don't know how. So first I will explain you how does even blue block coding work. So this is just a comment where I just write something. So the script will start here at the comment. There will nothing happening because it just is a text. Then it first executes the most of the left points which is connected with the print, block execute 1. After that, after that it will execute the block 2, and will wait one second. And now here it goes first to the most of the left point, which will do the block execute 3 at the 4. After that we will go back here to this block, but n will not wait again. We will go now from this block up here to this connection and execute block number five wait one second and then the six after that we go back up here to this connection now we wait after this block one second and we'll do plug execute number seven so if i will run this now it doesn't work because I don't know. Probably because let me just put a wait here. So the game will load it. Not the first them, then them, and then after the specific time. So now that you know how this works with the connections, what executes, and yeah, after the, all of that, that I forgot, after this is executed, it goes again all the way up here, but there's nothing, so it checks back up here, there's also nothing, goes again up, it's nothing, but here is another connection, and at the end, after this executed, it will go all the way up here and execute this block. So, now, another tip to this here to this block what you could do there so we have now like um, we will have a test part in the workspace and we first get the property transparency of the test part and then we will loop as long as the transparency is not one wait one second always do a wait after while loop because else your script your game will like crash after or a time out that does time out after some time but it will be really laggy and after this wait we get again the test part transparency to update it if it's maybe changed so it will loop as long as it's not one the transparency and after all this happened if it changes it to one it will print this now so if i now move this to not one and uh, we say nothing in the output now if we change the transparency to 0.5 it still doesn't say anything but if i change it to one it finished the loop and printed the statement after the loop now we will go off at the different kinds of block. We have here five different types. We have misc. There you can do prints, if statements, text functions, creating tables, which is maybe at the beginning a little bit hard to understand if you don't really know how it works. We have here white, uh, wait blocks, loops, like do this from one to ten times of a reinforcement of one would be executed. We have here loop to children and table, like if I select no game to workspace, if and then the child will be test part, then it will be the next object, the, the script, then the folder, another folder, and the base by and the camera. The do not one block, which you can connect to something if you don't want this function to run at the moment. Also, execute block, where you can 
put here in the string the upper text here to execute this block like if I will do this now with the set variable one block it would one from here go down there now we have math functions we have basic addition subtraction multiplication modulus but we also have some function like random number rounding Perl noise with Perl noise. If it's maybe hard, but with this you can do random terrain generation or stuff. For the math blocks, there are really much math blocks, and you maybe don't really know how they work. For them, I would recommend you going to the Roblox form for that and just search the maths there's a description for every math oh we also can construct vectors like could construct a position with that and set now the position to the output here the same with vector 2 udm2 for gy's color and also co um, color tree to brick color because parts only have brick color in Retro Studio and C frame but C frame is kind of advanced you can create C frames lerp C frames if you know what that does <coughs> and also get direction and stuff now events is like if this had if a child added now to workspace it would run the connected blocks like if while the game is running now uh, instance is getting added to the workspace it will do something heartbeat does after every simulation physic render does execute the uh, given blocks is it faster than a while loop also if you want to detect properly change or something we also have remote events <coughs> like and bindable events with remote events you can fire them from the server like fire remote event uh, to client <coughs> or fire to remote event to all clients so if you're on the server script and want to send something to execute in a local script you can maybe once just do it to one player or to all players where you can send also data and in the local script you just do a receive remote event and there you can get the data again same with bindable events but bindable events are for server to server communication or client to client communication also have some par touch or explosion hit also two events for equipped or stuff like player blocks if a player added or removed it with that you can maybe save data of a player and also some humanoid stuff for the character inputs is also kind of like events but for GYs and mouse positioning or keyboard like you can get the mouse position in 3d or 2d get the mouse target if you need to check something click detection the server script you need to set the player everywhere in the local script not it's also really cool <coughs> And some actions like setting properties, getting up properties, creating objects, destroy, checking what class a block is from. Also, for every block you can just right click it and read what there is, if you don't know what it is. Like, you can find first child, find first child, there's always a thing, so 
give you one a check if in game that works space was good. Apparent is the child. Tutorial. Or well, like test part. So the connected blocks only run if the test part is there. If not, you can't even check if it's not there. For that you would do have to something else. So we have mm, yeah. Primary part, C frame, sounds. Also you can add with that leader set, which I never use actually. <laughs> Mm, and some kicking, teleporting, badges, game passes, checking stuff, and some character function. So now, you maybe don't know how to use variables. Like, there's sometimes this button, what does it do? So, <coughs> if I have turned this off now, and just do test variable, it will print this string. But if I do this now to on, and I'm getting from, um, um, let me have to put this as this. <coughs> so here we create a variable. We can also do this with get object property, like we're getting the color put color of the base plate, and this is our var variable, also with a five. And if you do the exactly same string what we put here with use variable on, <coughs> use variable on, it will print. Did I turn this other thing off? No. Okay. It will first print five and then the prick color. Five to the prick color. With that, you maybe can do like get some object property, set the object property with use will be able if you may be created a vector tree or something with new position or something and just do the test part position to the new position with use variable on and just put a weight there so we can actually see something or something. So here is a part and after five seconds the position will be set to zero but it is probably now on the map and just white in the void. Yeah. So this is how you use variables. Like also create object you have here the output variable name. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you a bit for block coding. Because I see in the retro dev community always people struggling with how to block code or why does this not work. And I think they just don't understand how the blocks works. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.